on everybody. Um, so today we're going to be talking about the Asus Tough Gaming Laptop. So this laptop here it comes with um, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650, which is pretty good for a laptop. Also coming out with 32 gigabytes of RAM, also having one terabyte of storage, and also has an Intel i7 9th generation. Now, if you know anything about computer hardware, this is the perfect laptop for you if you're doing gaming, which is gaming and streaming, or if you're doing programming, such as myself, who are doing stuff in the IT related field, or if you're just doing um, architectural design or doing Photoshop, this is the perfect laptop for you. You can't forget about that Mac. That You want that Mac laptop? You, you don't need to get that, you just get this. Get this, man, you know, people don't really like Windows PCs, I know, I understand, but if you want something a little bit cheaper than if you pay $2,000 for a Mac and it only has 512 um, gigabyte of SSD storage, it's a solid state drive. It's, come on. Make it. Um, so, I'm gonna be plugging this in in a bit, but I just wanted to show you guys what's in the box. Um, I got this from Amazon, so they came with this this uh, nice mouse. So, mouse is right here. Seems pretty cool. It's fire. Um, it'll light up and show RGB. But I know you guys want to know how the laptop looks before you buy it. So here's the manuals and stuff of that nature. So this is what's um, presented here. 15.6 um, dimensions. It's pretty nice. Full HD, 1080p. Um, here you can look at the specs here. It has an IPS level nano edge display. It is touch screen, which is pretty cool. Never had a touch screen laptop like this before. Um, it also has a 7.1 surround sound, which is not bad if you know anything about audio engineering. Um, RGB keyboards is pretty nice, nice little touch. It also has a 14 4 um, hertz refresh rate and also has a hyper cool technology and certified toughness. I guess this thing can take a beating. I will not be testing that out. I, there's a lot of money spent on this. <laughs> um, Intel i7 core, 9th gen, and has an NVIDIA GeForce GTX. So I will be turning this on. I just want to show you guys how it looks. Um, Pretty cool, pretty standard. Nice looking you know, Asus logo here. Um, One thing I must say about this, this is a fingerprint magnet, as you can see here. Um. But I honestly like the design. It's very sturdy. It's strong. You know, it's not like it feels like I'm having some like piece of crap that I spent a thousand dollars for. But yeah, it's pretty nice. And then here you press uh, United States. Um, if you're not in the United States, please pick your own country. Um, yeah, don't click United States as soon as you open up the computer. Um, yeah, and this is just a moment. Uh, Doing everything else here, basics. No, we're not adding a second keyboard. Just connect to the Wi-Fi. Come on, Wi-Fi here. Um, I'm gonna have to pause it here because I don't want nobody to see my Wi-Fi password. All right, and then you click next. Connected. Next. Then it's just gonna do a small rebooting screen of setting things up enough the night nature and uh yeah. So um I'm gonna pause it right here and then I'll be showing you guys how it looks. And now alright everybody, um that was my little review, little unboxing of like how the laptop is in general. Um thank you guys for ch coming to my channel, checking everything out. Um, I will be doing a review on the PS5 I have up here um, Just to let y'all know how it is and how it's been going so far Because I know some people haven't bought it yet They're still waiting, you know, for all the little problems and things to go away I only had one problem with it And the only thing was my game was crashing like three times in one day But that's been fixed from recent updates they've been giving out But other than that, the PS5 has been great, really great I also would be showing you guys my uh, gaming PC that I built on my own Um I'll be doing a review on that as well. So yeah, um, thanks for coming and peace.